Eov, Job 13. Lo, my eyes have seen all this. My ear has heard and understood it. What ye know, the same do I know also. I am not inferior unto you. Surely I speak, rather surely I would speak to El Shaddai, and I desire to reason with El. But you are forgers of lies, ye are all physicians of no value. Oh, that ye would altogether hold your peace, and it should be your wisdom. Hear now my reasoning, and hearken to the pleadings of my lips. Will ye speak wickedly for El, and talk deceitfully for him? Will ye accept his person? Will ye contend for El? Is it good that he should search you out? Or as one man mocks another, do ye so mock him? He will surely reprove you if ye do secretly accept persons. Shall not his excellency make you afraid, and his dread fall upon you? Your remembrances are like unto ashes, your bodies to bodies of clay. Hold your peace. Let me alone, that I may speak, and let come on me what will. Wherefore do I take my flesh in my teeth, and put my life in my hand? Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. But I will maintain my own ways before him. He also shall be my Yahshua, for a hypocrite shall not come before him. Hear diligently my speech and my declaration with your ears. Behold, now I have ordered my cause. I know that I shall be justified. Who is he that will plead with me? For now, if I hold my tongue, I shall give up the Ruach. Only do not two things unto me. Then will I not hide myself from you. Withdraw your hand far from me, and let not your dread make me afraid. Then call you, and I will answer, or let me speak, and answer you me. How many are my iniquities and sins? Make me to know my transgression and my sin. Wherefore hide you your face, and hold me for your enemy? Will you break a leaf driven to and fro? And will you pursue at the dry stubble? For you write bitter things against me and make me to possess the iniquities of my youth. You put my feet also in the stocks and look narrowly unto all my paths. You set a print upon the heels of my feet. And he, as a rotten thing, consumes as a garment that is moth-eaten.